Good evening everybody. So as you may see behind me is our bed. We're currently sleeping on the floor because in a couple of days we're moving house which is very exciting but also very exciting. This evening I'm going to be heading down to the Brit Awards 2018 with BMW. Uh, they're going to be chauffeuring me to and from the event and the after party. Very much looking forward to this evening actually. It's going to be my second red carpet this week. Uh, I thought I'd quickly just show you what I'm wearing. I've gone for another mix and match suit because I've been getting bored of wearing like matching suits. So uh, to start off I've got some black I don't know what style of shoes you would call these. They're kind of just like standard classic black shoes. And then I've got these Dior fitted black trousers. And then I've got a Ted Baker gray jacket and a TM Lewin white shirt. Um, and then I think this is just a Hugo Bloss plain black tie with a tie clip. So I'm uh, all suited and booted and ready to head out to the wards. And um, my car's outside. So as always, let's go. Wow, so we've just had the six liter V12 BMW 7 Series come and collect me for this evening's BMW VIP chauffeur service. Very happy about this. <laughs> so basically, we're going to get to London in slow time. Half an hour. <laughs> Lovely. It's okay. I'll just have a quick peek through. Yes, nice. Love the cream. Right, let's go. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here's the money. All the whistles and bells. All the bells and whistles. Perfect. Right, we are getting very close to arriving in London and I've been making myself very comfortable in the back of the 7 Series. As you can see, I've got the jacket hanging up, just keeping those creases out and uh, I've just been handed my Brit Award invite and uh, I'm very happy to see that we're going to be on the arena floor this evening, which means we're going to be sitting on those really cool tables, um, which hopefully means we're going to have a great view of the performances this evening. My friend Joey's going to be there, which you guys have met already on the blog, so it should be really nice to see him because I've not actually caught up with him since uh, December last year. So we'll have a really good catch up and uh, yeah, we're excited to get onto the red carpet. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain. I don't think we're due it, but it is looking a little bit overcast, so we'll see how we get on. One thing I haven't told you about the car Molly, is that right in my eye line in the front on the windscreen, so it's got the heads up. Yeah. Is that the uh, the speed limit and it flashes? No, it's it's just a uh, it's that map. Oh, it's projected in front of you. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I did know the BMs do that. Amazing. You can't see it. No, but you, as when you're sitting directly in front of it, you yeah, can see it's it. Amazing. Projected out. Very clever. It comes up the other screen. Do you know what I love about that? It gives you the ability to keep your eyes sort of on the road, yep. and it doesn't take your eyes off to the navigation on the left. It can so switch that off. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Just arrived at the Brits and this is our table for this evening. Looking very swazzy. Got the champagne in the bucket. And there's the stage. I think this is the first time I've ever been early to an event in my life. Oh, 
No problem at all. <laughs> hey! Okay. How's it going, Steve? You alright, mate? Good, though. Right, so we've just Perfect. finished off here at the Brits and what a fantastic evening. It's been really good, but we're heading now to the Ned to the after party. Steve's picked me up in the 760 BMW. Ah, it feels good to be back in right, guys, So we've just got back in the cab after a fantastic evening at the after party at the Ned with the Universal Studios and um, I decided to put my feet up because I can. I don't think I've ever seen this in a car before. Actual footrest on the back of the chair. Perfect. Good morning. So yesterday we got back from the Brits. I say we, I mean I. And um, yeah, it was a really great evening. We finished off at the Ned. There was the Universal after party. We had Nick Grimshaw playing. And uh, yeah, there was quite a lot of names floating about last night on the floor uh, in the O2 Arena, which was pretty cool. Um, Stormzy and uh, loads of other artists were there. I could list them forever and ever. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself, so I just want to say a big thank you for BMW for chauffeuring me to and from the event. It made the logistics very nice, and that 7 Series was insane. The comfort levels were just something else. I've woke up this morning with a little bit of a headache, but there's no rest for the wicked. As you can see, the house is full of boxes. I know at the start of this video, you can see the bed upstairs is collapsed because tomorrow Lydia and I are actually moving house and um, we have a lot of packing to do just to sort of like finish off the last bits and bobs. So that's gonna be the majority of my day spent packing with this one over here. <laughs> but uh, I've actually just jumped off the phone to my videographer and he's told me that his drone's sort of playing up at the moment and I actually recently crashed mine. So I think I'm gonna pop up to the Apple store and try and pick up a new one because it'd be really nice to get some cool shots whilst we're out there. The weather's actually showing raining at the minute, which is a bit of a shame. And it's gonna be colder there than it is here. But I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and uh, pray for the good weather and also make sure that this drone investment was worthwhile. Uh, I didn't manage to uh, pick up a drone in Milton Keynes because I went into the Apple store and the guys in there were absolutely amazing, very helpful. So basically DJI have brought out a few different drones recently and they've brought out I think three different types of Maverick and the Mavic that I used to have was like the standard Mavic and and then the next stage I think was the um, the Mavic Pro which is um, kind of just like their, their like latest upgrade of uh, the Mavic. They did this in an Alpine uh, limited edition, which came in the white, which Apple sell. And then they also did 
the Mavic Platinum Pro which has a 60% noise reduction and the rest of the specs the same. So they kind of have like these three different tiers of Mavic now and Apple actually don't sell the Platinum and the Platinum is basically the one that offers you the most. But I think that the noise reduction is something that really interests me. So I took a trip down to John Lewis, Jessup's and they're the only places in Milton Keynes that actually sell uh, DJI stuff. So didn't have any joy. So I've walked away without any um, drone equipment, which is a bit of a shame. But luckily, I jumped on the phone to AR and he jumped onto Amazon. Uh, he has Amazon Prime, which means he gets next day delivery. So we've decided to get the Platinum through Amazon. Arriving at his house tomorrow because obviously we're moving. So I don't know whether we're going to be here or not to collect the delivery. So we're all sorted. So it wasn't a wasted trip in some ways, but it was in others because I could have just got him to order it anyway. Uh, but yeah, so that's all sorted now. Uh, I'm going to head back in and get packing with Lydia. So this is currently the situation in the living room. We've uh, been getting busy packing away. Cats are loving all the boxes everywhere. We're getting there slowly. You okay, darling? What's up? What have you seen? What have you seen? Okay, so a little update. We, um, we're actually doing quite well. We've tackled the majority of the house, as you can see. The lounge is nicely filling up now with boxes but we decided to take a little break because Lydia has just had her cover reveal she's on the cover of Blogosphere magazine this month and I'm incredibly proud of her I think only four people um, a year get to do the cover and the last person that was on the cover was Casey Neistat so I just think that's an incredible achievement and I'm very proud of her so we've just sort of taken a moment to share that news online um, which is really cool and then we're gonna go and tuck into a huge serving of mac and cheese currently in the oven cooking away it smells glorious in the house today so um, yeah I just thought I'd give you a little update how we're getting on with the packing I'm hoping that we'll get everything sorted this evening because otherwise we'll have to do it in the morning we don't want to be doing that we just want to be loading and going um, but I also have a YouTube video myself to publish so better get busy and there we have it in all its glory a very pathetic small bowl of mac and cheese <laughs> we had such high hopes it looks massive <laughs> I, I, look, I looked at the box it was in I was like wow that's loads do you know what I mean that's not even starters <laughs> Jesus so it's currently about 11.30pm and I don't think we've done too badly we've managed to get the majority of our stuff packed up the lounge is just full of boxes so we've got Lynx ready for bed-ish, he's going to play for a bit, but we're going to go to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. So bring on tomorrow, it's going to be a very long day, uh, but I'm very excited, I'm looking forward to it, it should be really good. we going to be moving into the new house. Um, I think Lydia's going to actually be vlogging tomorrow, so she is going to be able to showcase the move, um, so it's pointless me doing it as well. So if you want to go and check out tomorrow's big move day make sure you head over to her channel and uh, you'll probably see that on there she's pretty fast uploading videos so hers is probably already up mine's probably not up yet <laughs> but yeah it's been quite a successful one so so i think i'm going to finish off and end the vlog here so as always thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll be seeing you on the next one peace and by the way the next one's going to be italy yeah baby